Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity. Propagate a default route in OSPF v2. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA version 7 online classes or any other technical support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future consider subscribing and don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video now coming back to this activity here we can see our addressing table uh, with the devices interfaces and its ip address submit to mask and default gateway objectives in part one propagate a default route in part 2, verify connectivity. Background. In this activity, we will configure an IPv4 default route to the internet and propagate that default route to the OSPF routers. We will then verify the default route is in downstream routing tables and that host can now access a web server on the internet. Coming to the instructions. In part 1, propagate a default route. Step 1. Test connectivity to the web server. Uh, from PC1, PC2 and PC3, attempt to ping the web server IP address 64.100.1.2. Were any of the pings successful? Uh, we will verify that. Coming to our topology, here we can see devices PC1, PC2 and PC3. Uh, we will ping from all these devices uh, one by one uh, to this uh, web server. First of all, we will test from PC1, then we will go to desktop, command prompt, here we will give the ping command, then the IP address of our server, and it says, reply from 172.16.1.1, destination host unreachable. We will go to PC2, desktop, IP configuration to our server the destination host unreachable we get the reply from 172.16.2.1 then we will go to PC3 we will go to command prompt then we will ping to our server reply from 192.168.1.1 destination host unreachable So here this uh, ping uh, is uh, uh, not succeeded. What message did you receive and which device issued the message? Okay, just will go to PC1 then command prompt. And here we can see we got destination host unreachable and uh, it come from 172.16.1.1. That means uh, this device default gateway, right? Uh, we can verify that. IP config slash all and uh, here we can see it's a default gateway 172.16.1.1 so we get reply from it's a default gateway same way we can verify in PC2 so reply from 172.16.2.1 destination host unreachable uh, 2.1 is the IP address of this interface that is uh, g0 0 from this router R2 we can say we get the reply from this router R2, right? Okay. Examine the routing tables on our routers R1, R2, and R3, which will go to R1. Enable show IP route. And here we can see OSPF also connected networks. But gateway of last resort is not set. Okay. We will go to R2. En enable. Then we will give the show command show IP route. And here we can see OSPF. Okay. Then connected. And here also gateway of last resort is not set. Then coming to R3, 
enable show IP route remote networks learned with the help of OSPF then directly connected networks here also a gateway of Lash resort is not set what statement is present in the routing table that indicates that the pings to the web server will fail uh, actually we can see in all the routers there is no route to this uh, internet or to this uh, web server network and uh, we, we did not set any uh, default uh, route to the internet right so that's why it's mentioned the gateway of last resort is not set step 2 configure a default route on r2 configure r2 with a directly attached default route to the internet we have to give this command ip root then 0.0.0.0, .0, space, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 space then the exit interface uh, to the internet that is serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0 coming to our topology here we are going to i mean in this router r2 we are going to give this uh, uh, configure this uh, default route uh, with its um, exit interface that is serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0 here we can see which is connecting to this internet we will configure this uh, default route click on r2 then we will give a conf t that is configure terminal ip root 0.0.0.0, .0 space 0.0.0.0 .0 then we have to specify the exit interface uh, which is connecting to the internet that is serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 default route without gateway if not a point to point interface may impact performance okay so this is just a warning exit and we will give the command show um, ip root so that here we can see that the default route we given and it says gateway of last resort is uh, 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to network 0.0.0.0 here is a note a router will give a warning that if this interface is not a point to point connection it may impact performance you can ignore this warning because it is a point to point connection yes we can see uh, it's a point to point connection from a uh, connection from r2 to this internet in step 3 propagate the route in ospf configure the ospf to propagate the default route in ospf routing updates uh, we have to go to ospf with the process id 1 then we have to give this command default dash information originate yes uh, once you give this command default information originate this uh, default route will be propagated to uh, other uh, routers like r1 and r3 uh, using its ospf routing updates okay we will give this uh, command in this uh, router r2 enable conf t and here we have to give a router ospf then process id that is one and here we have to uh, give this command default information originate we'll put a question mark and we will see that here we can see default information control a distribution of a default information yes so we can use this command default dash information We'll put a question mark again uh, originate that distribute a default route originate okay step four examine the routing tables on r1 and r3 examine the routing tables of r1 and r3 to verify that the route has been propagated yes with the help of uh, this uh, protocol ospf we have to give this command again show ip root and uh, we can see the result like this o star uh, that means uh, this r1 and r3 land the default gateway uh, and it's um, propagated from this router r2 with the help of uh, the routing protocol ospf we can verify that right we will give the show command here show ip root and here we can see that it's propagated
here we can see the codes O means it's OSPF and star candidate default now we will go to R3 and we will verify enable show IP root and here we can see it's propagated part 2 verify connectivity verify that PC1 PC2 and PC3 can ping the web server okay now again we will uh, uh, ping from these uh, PCs uh, to this web server we will go to PC1 first okay just I will use shortcut up arrow from the keyboard ping 64.100.1.2 and uh, we will see whether it's communicating or not we get the replies now we will go to PC2 command prompt just press up arrow from the keyboard we get the replies then we will go to PC3 command prompt we get the reply from this uh, server it's a small and uh, simple activity uh, propagate a default uh, route in OSPF v2 and here we can see our completion status it it's hundred percent now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this pack tracer activity please comment below or you can contact our team using our website link you will get from the description below and also if you like your video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you